are two of Discover's core values that help shape and guide our company and the relationships we support. It's these core values that demonstrates our commitment to being a good corporate citizen, as well as a better place to both work and live. Part of this commitment is focused on economic development. We are confident that our donation to the Blood Mobile, you see here today behind us, right? <laughs> is both a great social and economic investment that we can all stand behind and be proud to support. In short, and quite simply, thank you for this opportunity and for helping us to make today's blood drive a true success. And with that, I'll turn the podium back to you. Sure. <laughs> I just want to point out that Riley said she wanted to hang out with us up around the podium. She's going to be speaking at the end of today's event, so she said she's more comfortable listening to the grown We're going to let her hang out and, and be a part of the event with us, so thank you for doing that. It's great to have you here. Um, okay, next we have a former CEO and Blood Bank of Delmarva, John Ferretti. I want to thank everybody for coming here today, and I want to thank everybody on behalf of the Blood Bank of Delmarva, New York Blood Center, for making this possible today. And then to get more specific, I want to thank there. There is the, the gentleman that brought the idea of pay for success before pay for success was really in legislature in Delaware. And um, you know, he appreciated the long-term vision of what it was going to take to get young donors to replace our aging donor population. And so it was with that vision that we were able to get this done. Discover Bank, uh, I want to thank Matt. Where's Matt? Matt Parks, Amy. See, Amy's hiding behind the corner over there. You know, um, you know when we started this, there, there was no pay for success in the Delaware legislature. So as it turns out, um, we got the money from Discover Bank. There with Longwood, took the part of the state, and we became the model for what then became the pay for success. <clears throat> and we certainly couldn't have done this without the corporate citizenship of Discover. Um, we thank you for that. Delaware Community Foundation, Stuart, we thank you very much for your help. You helped, you were very instrumental in helping us draft all the documents, provide the ongoing monitoring, not only for this opportunity for pay for success, but this can be the model then for other pay for successes around the state. And, you know, without your help, Stuart, uh, I don't know we would have gotten through all those documents. So thank you very much for your help. And to the BBD staff, um, I, Rick, I see Carissa. Carissa heads up the marketing side. She did uh, all the preparation for the documents to submit for the funding. She did the ongoing marketing research. Rick Thomas, uh, let's see, Rick, Rick is hiding behind us over there. So Rick leased the BBD today, but it was Rick's vision too that we needed this new uh, blood bill. So he identified what the problem was. He found the solution. He's implemented the solution. We have it out here today. And uh, Rick's got to do the ongoing work of now getting these blood drives lined up. So, with that, thank you all for being here. And also, I want to thank Dr. Hilliard, who's here from the New York Blood Center. Um, he we merged the Blood Bank of Delmarva, for those who don't know, with the New York Blood Center. And uh, Dr. Hilliard has been so instrumental in, um, in helping this organization grow. And so, with that, um, I think he's next up in line. So, thank you guys. Thanks, John. I have the easy job because I get to introduce Riley. <laughs> but before that, I'm Chris Hillier, president of the Blood Bank of Delmarva. And it is this extraordinary new blood mobile and the extraordinary gift it represents that will help us grow and make sure that we have the life-sustaining blood and products that we need and available, safe, and reliable supply, even when hurricanes come, which hopefully won't happen. So I'd like to also thank the Longwood Foundation, Discover Bank, and the Delaware Community Foundation for making this happen, as well as the vision of <coughs> our esteemed leaders and elected officials and pulling that off and hopefully getting it completely funded. So it's incredible. It will allow us to do our work and reach places that we haven't been able to reach before at work, at play, at school, at college with this beautiful new incredible Blood Mobile, thank you. Today and every day we're here to help people in need, 
I always say our work is by people, from people, and for people. So it's with that, people like us, people like you, and people like Riley, I have the pleasure of introducing two incredible recipients of our blood products. The first is TJ Mitchell, a 19-year-old with leukemia, who has received multiple products, many, many life-saving products, and is recovering from surgery, so he's not able to be here today, but his mother, Lisa, is, is here, and so please give him our very, very best. And uh, probably not needing any introduction <laughs> is Riley Jadick, a beautiful seven-year-old girl who has been battling leukemia and also received many units of red blood cells and platelets, and she is an inspiration to us all. Indeed, Riley and TJ put faces and family to what we do. The Blood Bank of Delmarva has not closed its doors since 1954, 24-7, 365. We can't do it without you, and what you did today, what all of you made possible today, makes it easier for us to do what we do. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. So with that, uh, Lisa Huff, if, oh, I'm sorry, I'm skipping people, my apologies. Um, Stuart, would you like to say a few words? Sure. Okay, please. excellent. This is Delaware Community Foundation President and CEO Stuart Comstock Gay. And then you want to practice one, and then we'll do the next one together? So you get to say his name, and then his title. Go for it. Stuart Comstock Gay. There you go. There's my replacement. <laughs> I want to thank all the partners, first of all, you know, Longwood and Discover, and the Blood Bank. You know, one of the things, I, I think the Blood Bank's on the line on this thing. And real props to the Blood Bank for being willing to take this on and have to deliver. Now, the money only gets paid back to us if they succeed. So maybe we're on the line, too. But the fact that the Blood Bank's willing to be scrutinized on the number of millennial contributions is really a big deal, and I want to thank you all for being willing to take this on and model this for the state. We're in a transition in how people are in this country, in how people are trying to help in the civic sector. People are looking for new ways, not just straight contributions, but ways where they can leverage different opportunities, create new partnerships, and make things happen with, with new incentives. So. The folks who put this together, we feel fortunate to be part of it. This is the first of many kinds of new investment projects that we see coming from people who want to make a difference in the world, not purely in the private sector way, not purely in the nonprofit sector way, not purely in the government way. And we see this as a really good model, and we look forward to lots of new initiatives in partnership with Discover and Longwood and Blood Bank and lots of other people. Thank you all for being part of this. We think this is a really great moment. Thank you. Lisa Howard, Director of Discover. <laughs> you can also refer to me as O positive. <laughs> I am here today in my corporate capacity, but understand for me, Blood Bank is very personal. Um, I think it's one of the greatest organizations that we have, and I'm so honored to be able to be a frequent donor. But today, uh, I would like to also talk to you about this Pay for Success grant, and it will help increase donors for the Blood Bank of Delaware for our millennial generation, and that's people between the ages of 17 and 34, because here at Discover, we try to create a work environment where individuals can come to work each day and make a real difference. Discover's diversity is one of our greatest assets. Today, one of our employee resource groups, the young professionals of Discover, we call them YPOD. <laughs> they're here, they are our millennials, and they're here to serve as our brand ambassadors and actively participate. And thank you for shepherding me for my donation this morning at 8 a.m. <laughs> uh, so this drive is really important for us, and so their contribution today is much appreciated. I discover we are fully aware of the growth of the millennial generation, and in fact, next year, it will be the majority of our nation's workforce. The contributions of YPOD and others like them are making a real positive impact 
This is pretty amazing. Forbes magazine says that 84% of millennials give to charity and 70% donated more than an hour of their time. So in closing, a really great big thank you, a sincere thank you to everyone that made today possible. A special shout out to our Discover Communications facilities and security teams, thank you. And uh, we certainly look forward to seeing a brighter future as a result of the Pay for Success bill. And today is a living example of how it can effectively come to life in our community. Thank you very much. Thank you, Lisa. Okay, so we'll close with the personal stories from the two families that have joined us. I'd like uh, Lisa Haas, if you wouldn't mind coming up and saying a few words on behalf of your son. You're welcome. Hi, my name is Lisa, and I want to say, so sorry. Thank you very much to the blood bank, because that has saved my son's life. He was diagnosed with AML leukemia in April 16th of this year. He has been through multiple different items to save his life. He has had 11 pints of blood. He has had 15, sorry, bags of platelets. He is my hero and he is working very hard to kick cancer's ass. We call the donors because he is O positive. I am O positive. My sister's O positive. Jimmy's O positive. Um, he calls them his blood warriors because he is gonna need future blood. Um, he still has two more rounds of chemo he has to take. He's been through more as a 19 year old kid than most people do in their life. He's had kidney stones. He had a blood infection recently, he was in the hospital and he's just home now from that and he is doing well. So I do wanna thank everyone who donates. Call your friends, call your family, get these young people out there because this is very, very, very important. Thank you. You get to stand front and center. Mm -hmm. Do you want the mic or you just want to talk for a minute? Thank you. Okay, this is Riley Jadick and she is a blood recipient of the blood bank. Hello. Hi. My name is Riley. I am seven years old and I have leukemia. Every day kids just like me are diagnosed with cancer. And every day, kids with cancer need blood platelets and other blood products. The new blood mobile will help make sure that the blood bank can continue to get all the blood donations it needs. To help everyone who needs blood, it is so important to find new blood donors to keep up the much needed blood and platelet supply. Thank you so much to everyone who has helped make this happen. Because of you, the blood bank will be better able to help kids like me battle cancer. Thank you. Thank you very much for everyone for being a part of today's event. We're going to head outside now to do the ribbon cutting. If you'd like to join us, we'd appreciate you.